Keeping track of news is very important in Forex trading. And if you are a day trader or scalper, it is essential to be aware if there is news scheduled throughout the day as it can cause a temporary but sudden impulsive price movement that may stalk you out and cause you a loss. Hey guys, welcome to Forex Monopoly. My name is Daksh and in this video, I will tell you how to use the Forex factory calendar to keep a track of fundamentals. Now, generally, it is advised to stop trading 30 minutes prior to a news event and only start trading 15 to 30 minutes after the news is over. But there is a way to benefit from the news after the event and I'm going to tell you that at the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Now let's quickly jump to the website to learn how to use the Forex Factory calendar. Now the first thing you need to do is set up the calendar as per your time zone. And for that, click over here. Now in the time zone section, select the city or the country you live in. Now in the time format, you can keep it to AM or PM, which is 12 hours or 24 hours as per your needs and click on save. Now the next thing you have to do is set the filter. There are different news going on throughout the day, but not all news is important as not all news will have a high impact on the currencies. So here in the Forex factory, you will get to see three different types of news. The red box, which indicates the high impact news, the orange box that indicates the medium impact news and the yellow box that indicates the low impact news. Now, I only prefer to keep an eye on high impact news, so I only choose high impact news. But if you are a scalper or day trader, you will need to choose high impact as well as the medium impact news. So tick on the red and orange boxes and untick the yellow and the white boxes. Now select the currency pairs you trade on, keep the event types to all and click on apply filter. Your filter will be applied. Now from here, you can set the custom date as per your needs. Like if you want to see the upcoming news for an entire week, you can do it from here itself. And if you wish to backtest and go to the previous news data, you can also do that by selecting the date. Now let's quickly go to the news section and I will tell you how to read the news. By the way, if you are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button. So this is the news section and here you have your date, the time of news release, the currency on which the news is scheduled, the box that indicates the impact and here you have the information about the news. In this folder over here, you have all the details about the upcoming news, like the history. Here we have the history or the previous data. Here you can view the effect the data will have on the currency. Like here it says actual greater than forecast is good for the currency. That means if the news comes better than the previous one, that is if the number is higher than the forecast or the previous number, it would be good for the currency. The most important thing to understand is that we should use news or any other fundamentals only to strengthen our analysis and not just to blindly enter into a trade just by reading the news. Now, many people do trade news, but in my opinion, that is very risky and not worth the risk. So there are different types of news, but out of all of them, I consider five news to be very important and I only keep an eye on those news. Those news are the interest rate, the GDP, employment, unemployment, ADP and NFP. The reason why I look at those news is that these news perfectly represents how well the economy of a country is doing. And it is very important for us to know how the economy of a country is doing because it will 
help us analyze what how will the currency pair look like in the future like when the interest rates go up that tells us that a country's economy is booming and if a interest rate goes down that tells us that a country's economy is getting weaker also the unemployment rate when the unemployment rate increases that tells us that the country's economy is not doing well and when a lot of people are employed that tells us that the country's economy is booming because people are well employed so i feel that these news represents the economy of a country better than any other news and help us to see the bigger picture now let us try to read some news and understand what does that mean for us so here we have news on us dollars and it was adp non farm employment change that is how many people are getting employed so here you can see here the news came out to be negative or bad for the us dollars as it was expected that more people would be employed but the number came out to be short that is now less people are employed than what was forecasted this means that the news was bad for us dollar and the us dollar will now get weak so you can now use this data with your technical analysis and find a way to short us dollars to benefit from it like let us say we consider euro usd so in this pair as usd got weak we will try to find a buy trade to benefit from this news just remember that you should not trade news alone that means stay aside or don't trade 30 minutes prior to a news event and only start trading again 50 to 30 minutes after the news event